Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Amreen Alisha. Today in this video we are going to do question number 6 to question number 10 from section number 1 of IKMC paper 2019 cadet problems. So let's do each question one by one. Okay, in question number 6 we have five friends met. Each of them gave a cupcake to each of the others. Then they ate all the cupcakes they had been given. As a result, the total number of cupcakes they had decreased by a half. How many cupcakes did the five friends have at the start? So in the end, uh, whatever the total number of cupcakes, after uh, uh, giving it to each other, they have half cupcakes decreased by the, the total number of cupcakes they had it, it decreased by half. So we need to understand the question first that there are five friends and they're giving the cupcakes to each other. So then they ate all the cupcakes they had been given. So how many cupcakes basically they had been given? We just need to find it out first. So the friends are A, B, C, D and E. All right. So there are five friends. We can name them A, B, C, D, E. When A has to give the cupcakes to the other friends, so we can put a tick mark here that A has given cupcakes to these four friends. Then he is not given to himself, he is given to the other friends. Then B has given to the cupcakes to his four, uh, four friends, one, two, three, and four. Then C has given the cupcakes to the other four friends, then one, two, three, and four. Then it's D's turn, D is giving the cupcakes to all of them except himself, then E is giving the cupcakes to everybody except himself. Now just check it out that how many total number of cupcakes they have given to each other. So the total number of cupcakes they have given to each other is like 4, 4, 4, 4, 4 and it is 4 times 5. That makes 20 cupcakes. So this 20 cupcakes are basically the total number of cupcakes they had decreased by half. So these are actually the half of the cupcakes that how many uh, the question asked you that how many cupcakes did the five friends have at the start as they're half of it so in the start it it must be 40 cupcakes the double of it 40 cupcakes so the correct answer is 40 that is option number d okay now move on to question number seven which says that in a race, Lotta finished before Manfred, Victor finished after Jan, Manfred finished before Jan, and Eddie finished before Victor. Who finished last of these five winners, uh, five runners? So let's write it down here that we have Victor, we have Manfred. We have um, Jan, we have uh, Lotta, we have Eddie. All right, so let's find it out where they, uh, they are actually, the positions. So in a race, Lotta finished before Manfred. So Manfred, Lotta is finished before Manfred, so Lotta must be here, before Manfred. Victor finished after Jan. Victor finished after Jan. Victor must be here. After Jan, Victor has finished. And then, um, Manfred finished before Jan and Eddie. So this Manfred finished before Jan. Manfred is here. And Eddie. Manfred has finished before Jan and Eddie. Sorry, before Jan. And Eddie finished before Victor. This is this is something here. Eddie finished before Victor. So before Victor, Eddie has finished. So Victor is the one who is left behind. Victor is somewhere here. Manfred is has finished. So just leave it. Leave uh, him here. Lothar. Uh, has finished before Manfred, so just leave uh, Lotta here. So the final answer is Victor, who finished last of these five runners. Option number A, Victor. 
Okay, now in question number eight, it's the pages of the book Juliet is written, is reading, are all numbered. The numbers used on the pages contain the digit zero exactly five times. So this is what the fact of the question is. And the digit eight is written exactly six times. What is the number of final page? So we need to find it out uh, that uh, from one to uh, the page page number from one to one two three four and five and dot 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 uh, the number which has a digit zero in it the first number is number 10 then comes 20 then comes 30 then 40 and then comes 50 as we need uh, the numbers the digit zero exactly comes five times so five times means this is one two three four and five times so the last number is 50 the other uh, condition says that the digit eight exactly six times so eight comes like once after five six seven eight and then comes 18 28, 38, it's 48, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the sixth time it comes 58. So the last page and the final page, according to the conditions given in the question, is 58. So the option B is the correct answer for this question number 8. All right, now look at question number nine of this IKMC 2019 paper. A large square is divided into smaller squares. What fraction of the large square is colored gray? Uh, we need to first observe this shape, that the shape is the square is divided into four small squares. And uh, if we'll observe that one of the part of the square is further divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine small squares squares so these four squares uh, must have nine squares in each so uh, just find it out if we have nine squares in each square in each four square of this then we have nine times four the total number of small mini squares are 36 squares 36 squares in each square of this large square if we have 36 small squares in it and let's see that how many are shaded. Uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven are shaded of this part of the square. And definitely nine, uh, the whole part is shaded. It means nine squares are shaded here. So nine plus seven, that makes 16 squares are shaded. Shaded one. So when we're going to write down a fraction, it will be like this, like 36 divided by 16. Oh, sorry, I'm so sorry. This is uh, 16 divided by 36. That makes 4 out of 9. When you simplify it, it's 4 and 9. So this option is given in the question, which is option number D. 4 over 9 is the correct answer of question number 9. Okay, move on to the last question of this video. That is question number 10 of IKMC 2019 paper that Andrew divided some apples into six equal piles. Boris divided the same number of apples into five equal piles. Boris noticed that each of the, his pile contains two more apples than each of the Andrew's piles. How many apples does Andrew have? First of all, we need to assume that the number of piles is equal to x. And Andrew has six piles, all right, six times x. Then Boris said that he has two more apples than each of the Andrew piles. So if it's a uh, number of piles, so it means that five, uh, there is one, another condition written here that Boris divided the same pile 
a number of piles into five equal piles so five equal pile means and he said it has two more apples so it means the the pile that boris has is x plus two and uh, as uh, these are five equal piles he has so five times x plus two this is what the boris uh, expression is now according to the condition given in the question is that they both have the same number of piles so 6x is equals to 5 into x plus 2. We are going to make the equation same. So 6x equals to 5x plus 10, which makes x is equals to 10. And uh, we have this option in the question, um, how many apples does Andrew have? Achha, no, we do not have this option. We have an option here because this Andrew has, the question says that how many apples does Andrew have? Andrew have 6 times of x. So, when we multiply this with 6, it becomes 60. So Andrew has 60 apples. Uh, so, option number A is the correct answer of question number 10. I hope that question number 1 to question number 10, I have made it clear to everybody. Uh, keep watching my channel. Uh, I'll definitely upload the rest of the question of IKMC 2019 credit problems. Um, subscribe my channel, like my videos. Thank you so much. Good luck.